hello welcome to my kitchen i will show you how to make fried rice in a very wonderful way so let's get into it you will need chopped onion shrimps peeled and deveined fresh corn that's sweet corn some peas oops <laughs> diced green bell peppers diced carrots you also need some curry powder chopped scallions minced garlic salt black pepper some dried basil grated ginger chicken seasoning cubes and of course the star of the show um, your tomato sauce oil yeah so this is the oil that I skimmed up from making jollof rice Nigerian, Nigerian jollof rice sorry and yeah um, my stew so you also need some smoked uh, uh, fish or stock fish I mean of course there's no chicken or meat in this um, recipe so but feel free to use chicken or beef if you want but for me this is what I'm going to be making my broth with this smoked and uh, smoked fish and stock fish um, of course you see how we're going to do it so keep watching so just go ahead and you know pour some hot water over the fish um, Soaking the fish in hot water will help you to take away like all these um, smoke residue and uh, you know some what's it called just other dirt and stuff that may be stuck on the fish but also soften it so that I will be able to remove the bones from the fish easily because I'm going to take away every single bone that is in the fish so while the fish is soaking I will just uh, wash my rice. So what I'm making is four cups of rice. Feel free to make, um, you know, either less or more, depending on how many people you want to make food for, right? So thoroughly wash the rice. As you can see, I'm washing it a number of times, but be careful not to, you know, break up the grains so that. You know the rice grains don't become short okay washing the rice uh, we just uh, drain the fish from the hot water and take out all the bones from the fish and you know any other dirt that is still in there like the skin I don't really like leaving the skin of my smoked fish you know on so I'm going to take those ones off as well especially the sagging ones yes I don't like that <laughs> okay but feel free to leave just basically the hot water is for removing the bone so the fish is done yeah I'll set that aside and let's start cooking pour about pour some water into the pot like two to three cups add some fresh thyme you can see I added fresh thyme inside what I put some olive oil or any cooking oil of your choice and then add in the fish that you've just washed and deboned after doing that, just cover it. We are going to cover that and let it boil. So while the the broth is boiling, we wait for 
our broth should be ready i'm going to just you know go ahead and uh, peel some plantains and slice them because we are going to be eating this rice with some plantains yeah very yummy mm. is ready um, we'll go ahead and add a few other things as well add some of the curry powder it smells so nice guys that fresh thyme is really doing a very good job inside that brass so add some of your curry powder and the grated ginger then go ahead and add um, the chicken seasoning cubes and also add some salt and stir everything together and just taste Now, if the seasoning is to your is to your taste, then go ahead and uh, you know add the rice, stir together, cover it, and lower the heat a little bit, right? Not too much so that the rice won't get soggy. Just um, a little bit. You lower the heat and close the fire. Yeah. Yeah, so while I wait for the rice to get a little bit soft, I will also go ahead and clean up my kitchen. As you know, I have a small kitchen, so cleaning as you go is a must. Otherwise, things would be on top of each other and there will be no space to step on anything. Yes. <laughs> so, raise the rice so that the water on top can go down below. To the bottom of the pot and yeah i'll also prepare some salad as well these are cherry tomatoes that i'm cutting in halves My kids wanted some snacks, so I'm giving them some gummies. Yeah, everybody's getting hungry. <laughs> the rice is all done you can see it's really fluffy yeah I love that it smells so nice in my kitchen honestly okay so I will just take away some of the you know sprigs of thyme yeah like this one uh, from the rice and we are ready to fry so with a pan on fire over low to medium heat um, put in a little bit of cooking oil now i'm using this extra cooking oil because the oil that i saved for my jollof rice is quite little so but if you saved enough you can use only the oil from your um jollof or from your tomato sauce but you know yes so right add your tomato sauce oil it's very fragrant 
oh my goodness the aroma is wonderful okay so adding the chopped onions and stir So we're going to keep stirring, you know, till the onions become translucent and fragrant. Add the remaining curry powder, your salt, stir everything together and then add the shrimps. So these shrimps have already been washed of course, <laughs> it's obvious. And just keep stirring. All right. I also prepared, um, you know, cabbage leaves and um, lettuce to add to the tomato, the cherry tomato. Um, yeah, for making salad. Now add your green pepper and stir everything together the fresh corn, the sweet corn as well, stir, just add all the vegetables one by one, you know, I guess you can see what I'm doing, yeah. Through the fields of our pots, feelings part always, keeping us close but it's strange now. So you can now start adding the rice, the cooked rice, after you've mixed in all the chopped vegetables and fried them for some time. Yeah. So I have a very big family, so I'm really making a big amount of rice so if you have a um, smaller number of people eating this food yeah all my kids are just somebody's knocking at the door um baby divine is awake and i can't even talk Kai, joys of motherhood okay <laughs> yeah so just go ahead and turn your rice and that's it the food is done okay give me some minute let me attend to my kid Sprinkle some dried basil over the mixed rice and the food is ready. Yum, set that aside. For me, I'll just set that aside and clean up and fry the plantains that I had earlier sliced. the plantain is frying I will prepare some uh, dressing for my salad just uh, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice fresh lemon juice some mayonnaise um, pigeon mustard plain yogurt and some black pepper dried basil and um, yeah uh, a little bit of white vinegar and you're done
I will also prepare some mango um, smoothie to go with the food. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box, so feel free to check them out if you want or if you like. Everything is ready. Avocados are very good in salad. Um, yeah, that one goes into my mouth. <laughs> okay, I'm just serving it for my kids and everybody to eat. Yeah, we are so many in this family. I, I, there's six of us. That's me, my husband, um, my children, four children. Of course, the baby is not started eating solid food, but yeah, plus my helper. So there are seven of us in this home. Okay. Serve your rice and it's done. I'm really very thankful that you stopped by today to watch my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, tap the notification bell so you receive instant updates on new videos. Okay? Thank you very much. God bless you for watching. Bye.